Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome to another edition of WWE Slam. As always, I'm joined by Byron Saxon, Corey Graves, and Michael Cole, just two short weeks before our next upcoming pay-per-view, Payback. Unfortunately, we start tonight's show with some unfortunate news, as after last week's broadcast, Bailey was the victim of a vicious assault backstage at the hands of Nia Jax. We do warn our younger viewers that the following scenes may be uncomfortable to watch. The unprovoked attack by Jax against Bailey follows a series of events in which Jax has, in some colleagues' minds, made a bid to retire the fan favourite. At this time, we're told by our senior doctors that Bailey is recovering back home and we wish her a healthy and speedy recovery. And of course, we'll keep you, the WWE Universe, up to date. However, the show must go on, and in light of the recent news, Vicky Guerrero has announced that one lucky fan will get a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to stand in that very ring with some of WWE's biggest stars in a unique VIP experience. Following last week's broadcast, many of you back home sent in tweets regarding Big Cass being ringside for last week's tag team match. Well, it seems many of your questions are about to be answered as we join Liv Morgan right now. to the ring, accompanied by Lanza, and from Staten Island, New York, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. It's time for the Princess of Staten Island, looking quite fabulous too, I might add. Byron, what do you think about the shape these women appear to be in right now? They've clearly been prepping for this one. Oh, without a doubt, Michael. I don't know specifically what they're doing inside the gym, but it's definitely working. Stay tuned to WWE Slam, as up next, Carmel looks to sign with Liv Morgan as she takes on Liv Morgan's new ally, Alicia Fox. Also later this evening, Vicky Guerrero will announce who Sasha Banks will face in our main event of the evening as she defends her number one contendership to the Slam Women's Championship. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. From behind. And now here's Carmella. In full control. 
How about we touch on Alicia Fox a bit? We know she can compete, but how is she going to actually win this thing? I like what she brings to the table here tonight, Cole, but if I'm being completely honest, this one's just too close to call. Both of these women are so amazing. One thing I can say about her is if she does get beat, it won't be because of a lack of preparation or effort. Look, Elisa Fox is on the attack now. She's looking at it early. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Looking for the quick pin. And Carmella pops the shoulder up. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. If Carmella hits, this one's over. That lands. Gals, Carmella may be in a bad way here. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants to get back into this thing. She counters with a move of her own. Look at her go! That acrobatic maneuver clearly caught her off guard. Oh, and sent crashing back down. She's on a roll now. This could be the oh, Bronco Buster from Carmella. But can she follow up? Quick cover by Carmella. And Alicia Fox avoids the early pin. What a kick out. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. She counters before it's too late. Now there's the counter. There it is, Foxy putting those long legs to good use. Truly devastating, Cole. She's going for the cover. Oh man, I mean that was so close. I thought it was over. She got her shoulder up and we continue. Shoulders down, is it enough? And Carmella avoids the early pin. And the match continues. Alicia Fox doing some damage. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Gosh, look at this. The referee is totally oblivious here. She's a heartbreaker, though, and a rule breaker. Carmella doesn't know what hit her. Looks like Elisa Fox is... She's got the shoulders down. And Carmella pumps the shoulder up. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's going to be light on her feet out there. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. 
Carmella is going to have to improvise because she's not seeing any benefit to her strategy. Her opponent is clearly not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Carmella is on the attack. She's calling for it. See if she has it in her. In my opinion, Alicia Fox has got to get back into this. What are your thoughts? She definitely doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if she wants to be successful here tonight. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. Well, I still think she has the best shot at winning this match. She just seems one step faster than her opponent here tonight. Unleashes the Boston Crab. Could be over soon here. She's on the attack and on the move. No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Carmella with a nice reversal. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Look, Alicia Fox is on the attack now. Alicia Fox trying to get into some people's heads here. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. An effective headlock can incapacitate the toughest competitors in WWE. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. Really relying on that elbow here. Carmella with a nice reversal. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's absorbed a lot of punishment so far tonight. Got it. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. That strike was strategically placed on her opponent. Looking for a Carmella out. Bronco Buster. This one is over. If at first you don't succeed, This could do it. Wait a minute. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. Wow, she's shoulders down. This could be it. can end it here, gentlemen. Yeah, you know, it could be over here. Two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Alicia Fox. Big singles win here, guys. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. Following another shot victory for Alicia Fox, 
It was revealed moments ago that next week, Alicia Fox will go one-on-one -on -one with the ravishing Russian, Lana. However, up next, our interim general manager, Miss Vicky Guerrero, promises a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a very special member of the WWE Universe, as well as announcing who Sasha Banks will face later tonight in our main event of the evening. Tonight has been the scene of some shocking revelations here in WWE Slam and it was revealed just moments ago by Slam Interim General Manager Ms. Vicky Guerrero that in our main event of the evening, Sasha Banks will go one-on-one -on -one with the dominant Nia Jax in a bid to keep her number one contendership shot at the Slam Women's Championship. That match, people, is up next. coming up here guys and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree Michael when you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring you can bet 
it'll be memorable. Byron, what do you think about the shape these women appear to be in right now? They've clearly been prepping for this one. Oh, without a doubt, Michael. I don't know specifically what they're doing inside the gym, but it's definitely working. WWE's top star is ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. And I'd say this match will go a very long way in determining just who is WWE's most dominant woman. It definitely will, Cole. But at the same time, whoever wins here tonight can't just rest on her laurels. There's a whole locker room full of women looking to take that top spot. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Sasha Banks got her there. Guys, let's quickly discuss Nia Jax. You've seen her train and compete, so tell us what we can expect from her. Well, we're going to find out who's the better competitor for sure. No gimmicks, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Guard with the head scissors. She wants to finish this. She's thinking about it. Sasha Banks got her there. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. An early pin attempt. That was nowhere near a three count. That's all right, Cole. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. And there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. When she gets in attack mode, hoping to end it early, and Nia Jax powers out. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. I don't think she should challenge her. An incredible chop. Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. Nia Jax seems to have gained the upper hand for the moment. Sasha Banks is showing a lot of heart here, but can she turn this around in her favor? This is not at all where she hoped to be at this point in the match. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's paying for it. She is on fire! She counters before it's too late, and there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. Whoa! 
Looking for the quick pin. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. I knew she could do it. Sasha with a bank statement. The bank statement. This might be it, guys. She just will not let up. She delivers a lethal forearm. Just toying with the competition a little. Nia Jax sees an opening. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. She's got the shoulders down. And Sasha Banks pops the shoulder up. She's still in this one. Nia Jax is really starting to fade now. She's going to have to turn things around in a hurry, guys. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. And this might very well be the turning point of this match. Unless, of course, she can come up with something big here. Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. So strong. Fireman's carry. Slam it into the mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. This one's over, guys. Nia Jax is measuring her. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. That has got to be it. Referee stops the count on the ropes. <sighs> Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. Nia Jax is in deep trouble now, guys. This match is certainly starting to test her metal. You can't help but think that this is the end of the road for her here tonight. I mean, she's flat out of gas out there. Well, she's definitely not looking good right now, but the truth is, outside of the referee, nobody involved in this match is looking good. She goes down like a ton of bricks. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Nia Jax might have it right here. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. And this has got to be it. She might have it. Bankrupt. She's got it now. Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. It could be over here. She's got her where she wants her. You have to think that's it. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. We've got to see that again, guys. So nice, you got to see it twice. And now Sasha Banks heads up. Look out! This should do it right there. One, two, three. Sasha Banks did it.
your winner, Sasha Banks. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host, The Revolution, and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution, or head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam, because you never know who might turn up. Until next time...